normally we don't really get on the hype train too hard, at least not with games from companies that haven't proven themselves. Yeah. But we are on the cusp of the No Man's Sky release. You're getting it on PS4? Yes. Unfortunately. I'm getting it on PC. I just found out I have to wait a couple of days, but whatever. Um, and so there's a lot of hype around this, and, and I get it. Uh, the the art style looks great. Uh, it just oozes polish. Um, I haven't really seen anything bad about it. But I think that it's going to disappoint a lot of people. And, not, and that's not saying it's going to be a bad game. I think it's going to be a good game. What I think it is is that it's not going to be what everybody thinks they're getting. And that's unfortunate for me to see. Because I, th- I think I have a pretty good idea of what I'm getting. And I'm yeah. okay with that. I'm yeah. okay with that $60 purchase. I'm, you know, I know what I'm getting into. But I'm looking on the forums. I'm looking online and I'm looking at people talk about this game. And you know they're getting all excited. And they keep asking these questions. And I'm like, you don't want to know the answer to that question. That's the thing is that the questions that they have answered, I hear it. And it's just it makes me nervous. Especially with like the minimalist type story and stuff and they're like a lot of a lot of the things that you discover as far as story goes is going to be lore based and like the ruins you find and stuff and it's like that you can you can approach that and do that in a responsible way and it can be really cool but i don't see you guys being able to do that especially your first time right. out you know what i mean right and I, and i mean that doesn't really bother me that much because i we know that going in i i didn't think i was getting into no man's sky for the story one of the things i've have heard and red that kind of bother me is I guess you can drill into the environment, you know, like a kind of like Minecraft or one, you know, any one number of those games. But if you do run into somebody else, they won't see that. And so I don't know exactly how that's going to work. Yeah, it, 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 it sounds like they're taking the wind out of your sails. Like, you, this is cool. You can play with other people and stuff like that. And then something like that comes yeah, up. And it's like, like, oh, I can play with other people, but it's not, not going to really. affect how they play. Yeah, so. yeah. You, you can play with other people, but not really. And so it makes – like, I under, I can kind of understand the thought process. You're, you know, screaming through space. You're probably not going to run into people all the time, especially if you're some lone ranger. Um so you're probably not going to run into people all the time, but when you do, it it's not being handled very organically. I I think if and if this is how it's working, I'm pretty sure it is. Um, I'll look up articles and throw them in you know the description below just to back up these statements. But that's that that kind of that's kind of weird to me because then at that point, if that's the route you're going, if you're going to the route where you can drill into the planets and stuff but nobody's ever going to see it then why implement a multiplayer aspect of the game in the first place yeah it's it's a gimmick that's not going to be fully fleshed out you know what I right mean? i like, like a I, selling point, that's but. why i unless they have something else planned i don't understand why implementing something that you don't really want to see fleshed out anyways yeah you know it's like oh we put in this multiplayer thing but we don't really want you to be able to group up with your buddies and play and stuff like that we don't want you to do any of that we just want to have other people running around for, for no fucking reason. <laughs> yeah. like, why? I mean, I don't understand. What, are you a single player game? Are you multi- like I, I, I applaud the courage to do something different. I applaud the courage to keep it organic. I mean, there are games that don't have, uh, you know, matchmaking and good mechanics to group up with your buddies that feel natural. DayZ is a perfect example. You can't just make a party and meet up with each other in DayZ. You actually have to find each other. Yeah. And, and it feels realistic, and it adds to the uh, experience of DayZ. You know, that's why DayZ is so popular, because they've managed to capture that. But I don't know if No Man's Sky is really going to be able to do that in, in the direction that they're going. Yeah. I mean, there are some things I'm excited about uh Mainly, I'm a big collector when it comes to video games. I love little extra things you can collect and stuff. So I love the idea you can like scan different life forms and like the trading and stuff like that. Like I'm kind of excited yeah. about that. Yeah, yeah, I can see you. And the space battles, I space see battles, the space cool. battles, and, and, stuff and like there's that. and there's aliens. I mean, like it looks fun. I mean, me and you were both picking it up. Yeah, definitely. you know what I mean. But uh, I don't think we're on the same hype train as everybody else. No. I th- I think what No Man's Sky is for us. 
is it's really kind of the beginning of the gaming season. Yeah. It's like the first big release we've had in, in, in a while yeah. because we get, you know, No Man's Sky, and then a couple weeks later, actually probably more like a few weeks later, we get Deus Ex, yeah. which okay. we're excited about. Yeah, and, and we, were, we were just talking about this in the sense of, like, you know, No Man's Sky is not going to be something I'm going to pick up and then get fucking Mankind Divided and – just keep playing No Man's Sky until I'm done with it, if that's even possible. Right. I and mean, like, no, I mean, I'm going to drop No Man's Sky and start playing Gang <laughs> Half Divided. I mean, I would, I would be happy if No Man's Sky completely blew my cock off and all I wanted to do was play No Man's Sky. Yeah. I would not be against any of that at all. I just don't think it's going to. And I think for a lot of people, they're, it's, it's getting overhyped. You know, it's, I, I, I wish people would just kind of accept. That it it looks like a really cool game coming out, instead of treating it as if like I'm gonna call out for two weeks so I can play this game. So like, dude, I, <laughs> I think you're gonna be disappointed. Yeah, and with- not only that, it's it's kind of sad to see too, because I'm sure that that kind of like hinders them in a sense. You know, the game could be really good, but because the hype is building and building and building, it's not gonna be. You know, the finished product's yeah. not gonna be something. Yeah, like- they're they, yeah they're going to uh, kind of shoot themselves in the foot with their own popularity. Yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, there it's. It could be amazing. I, I'm we're, we're not debating that. I mean, like we have said a few times already, we're we're getting on board. You know, we're buying our ticket. We're gonna get on board. Um, but I think we we kind of know what we're getting into, and we're kind of watching these other people build it up and build it up. And hey, I've, there's been plenty of games that I've built up with hype and have come tumbling down because my expectations were too high, and it sucks when that yeah. happens. You know. And so, you know, the public service announcement for everybody, just calm down. <laughs> Even if No Man's Sky Let's doesn't end up being the, the best game you've ever played in your life, there's plenty of other really kick-ass games coming out in the next few months. Fuck yeah. That's yeah. the thing is that, like, I, even if I was disappointed with it, it's not going to be for very long. Nah, yeah. I'm, so I'm going like, to move on. There's yeah, things coming there, out. There's a bunch of excited. games coming out. They can't all suck. Yeah. They can't all suck. Yeah.